What's up, Friday Night Funkiners? I want you to guess exactly how many characters you think cause something to sound like this. This is the world record for most FNF characters singing in one song at once. Or is it? Well, the song you just listened to comes from a mod called Final Destination Chaos Edition. It released on February 9th, 2022 by Similarity? Sim similarity? <laughs> It's based off the original Shaggy X Matt collaboration mod back in June of 2021. And chaos would be the perfect word. As this song contains, get this, a whopping 52 characters at once. The song simply begins with a casual 26 opponents. God bless boyfriend and switches playable characters every other turn, which is pretty cool. If it wasn't for the insane lag, you basically can't hit any arrows without your PC becoming an air fryer. It's about three full minutes, and only one minute in, this happens. Yep, a Mickey Mouse jump scare sound and 52 freaking characters. Things go back to normal until the end of the song where stuff gets funky once again. Finally, you're greeted with a wholesome Bob jump scare to end things off. And that's great. But, uh, the, oh, oh, oh yeah, there's a God mode too. After you beat Final Destination, you return to this, like, Nintendo Wii-styled free play menu, and, well, this really shady red letter with a bomb in it shows up in the corner. Oh boy, mail! After reconsidering my life choices, I clicked on the letter, and it immediately switches you into the sketchiest looking coding screen I think I've ever seen. It's actually a pre-recorded loading screen for a fake installation of Homebrew, which for those who don't know, is a popular hacking tool for modding Nintendo Wii's. But since this is just a funny FNF mod, we're gonna install a quote bruh channel on our free play menu. So once we click on the menu, we start up the God mode of the song. Note that the creator of this mod said it's still being worked on, so just be prepared. It adds some dork God versions of some characters and just slaps in the arrow chart from Dave and Bambi's expunge song, cause why not? It's literally impossible. Hitting any notes just freezes your PC, but it's so like broken that it's kind of funny. Oh, and Retro Spectre's character is just so pixelated and blurry. It's like, what even led this to happen? Oh, and the best part is after you beat it, you're sent to a random page with a small gif of Mr. Krabs saying, bruh, just icing on the cake. Also, just to be clear, the creator intended for this to be a joke mod, so everything's all in good fun. However, we're not done yet. I'll be honest, if you thought this clusterfunk was a little hard to follow, I don't blame you. In fact, there is another mod out of this world that actually rivals Final Destination Chaos Edition. If we're being a straight up nerd, Chaos Edition technically counts as a spin-off version of a pre-existing mod on top of already pre-existing characters. Therefore, if you want an insane song that's completely original, we have to go to space. Oh my God. I'm not kidding. We gotta go to the edge of our flippin' solar system and meet a long lost friend. This is Pluto's Reprisal, a mod where you play as Pluto to regain its status as a planet. It's made by Digital Hourglass and his team, and was released in February of 2022. 
For a quick refresh, in 2006, Pluto was declassified as being a planet to being reclassified as a measly dwarf planet by the IAU, or International Astronomical Union. This made a lot of people sad and angry, like, how could you do that to Pluto, bro? But in this mod, Pluto fights to win his rightful title back. You travel across the cosmos, rapping against the biggest baddies of gas giants, a whole multitude of moons, ominous celestial entity chads, the friggin' asteroid belt, other rival dwarf planets, and you even take on the International Astronomical Union itself. Or do you? Well, for the sake of FNF World Records, we're looking into the song called Kata. To be specific, Kata holds the FNF record for a fully original song against the highest number of original opponents. It's an 8 minute gauntlet against rival dwarf planets. I'm not exactly sure what Kata means, but it may refer to the fourth dimension of physics or something like that. I don't know, I'm not a spaceologist. Bruh. But in this song, you play as Pluto alongside its neighboring dwarf planet, Eris, and even the moons of Pluto and Eris themselves, while the opposing side contains an entire squad of 18 unique dwarf planets on top of their own moons as well, like what? However, not everyone sings at once like in Final Destination. Instead, it switches to one character every turn, and I mean every character gets a turn. Even the smallest of moons get to rap. It's insane! Each character has unique vocals too. They all fit this spacey theme, and it's just like nothing I've ever seen in a mod before. And I just love the personality the team gave each of these planets and moons. And the overall absorbing galactic theme holds up throughout the entire mod. So definitely check it out if this is something that interests you. Oh, and as for Pluto regaining his title back, he has a really hard time doing so. I'll just say that. <laughs> oh! Did you expect these two mods to hold the title for most characters in a song? I sure didn't. <laughs> But it's really cool to see these mods test the limits of FNF itself. Well, thank you for watching, my friends. And uh, check this video out to find out the true longest FNF song. It's a chaotic journey. I'll just say that. <laughs> Bruh.